I'm Kendall. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. You already know who I am. Um, but today I'm coming at you guys with a full day of eating during my improvement season. And I showed you guys meal one, which is also my pre-workout meal. Smoothie bowl. You guys have seen me have smoothies before. That's a normal thing. And my post-workout meal is also a normal thing that you guys will see. If you've seen my videos, you've seen it before. The other meals today will be different. Um, but yeah, I have like basically my first two meals of the day because they're my pre and post workout meals because I work out in the morning, um, are consistent basically every single day. Not because they have to be, but because I like them to be and they are like two of my favorite meals. I'm about to head down to the gym. I have a shoulder workout today and I'm actually just going to be working at my home gym because I really just need dumbbells for the workout. So might as well just stay home plus it's raining out it's not the vibe i was gonna put on like a cute little outfit and then i looked outside and i was like no it's cozy vibe so i put on a sweatshirt and i have a sports bra on under obviously if i get too hot but i probably won't because it's normally kind of chilly so i guess i'll talk to you guys a little bit about meal timing so i typically eat my first meal uh, which was the meal you guys just saw um between 8 30 and 9 30. um it depends more so on like the day um just because some days i do wake up a little bit later because i went to sleep a little bit later you know um but if i know i have like a longer workout i'll eat closer to 8 30 because i'll start my workout around 9 30. it could be between two to three hour windows um and then all my other meals are three hours apart so 11 30 2 30 5 30 8 30. You don't have to necessarily eat your meals at the same times every single day, but I've been eating my same meal. Oh, I've been eating my meals at the same time every single day, basically since last fall, since I started working with my coach. Um, and honestly, just keeps me on track. Make sure I get all my meals in, which I don't have problems with because I don't miss any meals. But. Um, Either way, it keeps me like kind of in a routine. Plus, when you consistently eat at the same times, or around the same times, it doesn't have to be like exact, but around the same times every day, your body kind of gets used to it, and your body's honestly hungry at those times um, every day once you continue to kind of be in the same routine because your body's used to eating at those times. so we have meal number two right here post-workout we have cream of rice we have some ground flax in there then we have my pea science snickerdoodle protein as y'all know is my favorite we have some strawberries and we have some cinnamon so i look insane <laughs> literally look crazy this hair but i i don't care you know but my meal, so excited. Literally one of the best meals ever. But it is like a science to like get like the perfect texture. I've had multiple people like DM me, um, like asking me if they were like doing something wrong because like the texture was like weird for them. You really just gotta, you really just gotta work it out. It depends on what protein you're using. Depends on if you're using cream of wheat, cream of rice, cream, uh, oatmeal, different things. Um, also depends on how much water you use um, for the texture. I tend to use, I add more water. Like if it becomes like, if I feel like my mixture of like cream of, I feel like my mixture of, if, oh my gosh, I can't talk. If I feel like my mixture of protein oats or protein cream of rice is like too like chalky and like clumpy, I'll just add more water. That's what you can do too if that happens to you. 
yeah but i'm gonna eat this and probably watch some youtube kerrigan pike came out with a new video finally so i'm about to watch that and yeah this is what i like to call the lazy girl's guide to eating whole foods just put everything in a pan and then you mix it all together literally so freaking easy child we got the steam mm -hmm. all right well i want the steam to kind of cool it cool it out a little bit so i can show y'all the meal this is the meal meal number three whole green beans yams ground beef simple cooked in some olive oil seasoned with some salt and pepper you don't gotta overdo it y'all for some flavor you don't gotta overdo it i promise and yeah, so this is meal number three. We're gonna do second part to meal three, which is a little treat because I always, I basically need something sweet with every meal. So these are actually, my mom made these a while ago, but they've been in the freezer, so they're all good. They are just dairy-free, just, yeah, dairy-free dark chocolate with my wow butter. So it's like a peanut butter cup like homemade healthier like no extra sugars no nothing it's literally dark chocolate and peanut butter substitute so you can make these at home if you ever like want like a little treat but want to keep it healthy don't want to have any extra sugars fabulous you can make them look prettier than this but you know these are like perfectly like these all have the exact same macros that's why they look a little funny because we just had to make it work you know but i think i'm gonna have this little guy and yeah i'm gonna record myself trying this i haven't had one of these in a while mm. is it gonna focus no like uh fire okay guys so i mean i love crazy i feel like i see that probably like 10 times a video but this is just the real me what you see is what you get i've literally i've been chilling got some work done earlier now i've just been watching youtube you know minding my own business but now it's time for meal four and meal four is actually a new meal i haven't tried it before but i've seen it and i've been interested in trying it so we have rice, chicken breast, pineapple. Okay, so this is it. I'm not mad about it. We're gonna see what it's rocking with in terms of taste, but I think it looks appetizing. Okay, so we're gonna get a bite with chicken, we get a bite with pineapple, and get a bite with rice. It's good. No complaints. It's not like the best combination I've ever had, but I'd eat it again. Okay guys, so I'm all squeaky clean and showered and I am going to make some dinner. I had something planned for today. The, that original plan went south. So I had to come up with something else, but I'm actually excited to try this um, because it's kind of like a breakfast for dinner type of deal, which I love, um, but it's also something that I've been wanting to, like a combo that I've been wanting to try. So we're trying two combos, two new combos in one day. I'm not mad about it. So yeah, but I will basically, I'll just show you guys it when I'm done. Cause I kind of gotta, I gotta work out the kinks, you know? <laughs> so this is the random meal of the night and you're probably really confused about it, but I'll explain it. So we have some grits down there. And they're actually sweetened a little bit and then they also have a little bit of my plant butter and then underneath 
we have well, on top we have some more ground beef and then we have some egg whites and a whole egg that's the yolk and i think it's going to be running and this is a combo that i've never had but for some reason one day i thought it would taste good so <laughs> i'm going to give it a try my kitchen is a mess now because i was just not prepared for that meal like to have to make that meal so yeah but sit down it's gonna be like a little bit of like a sweet and salty action with the like sweetened grits with like the egg and like the beef but we'll see oh yeah it's a runny it's a runny yolk mm-hmm okay I'm not, as I always say, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, it's definitely sweet and salty. And that's my vibe. So A plus from me. I'd definitely make this again, actually. This was literally, I think I honestly one day had a dream about this meal. That was a good bite. Mm. I think one day I had a dream about this meal. And I literally woke up and was like, okay, I need to make it. So here I am eating it. And I guess now I know why I had a dream about it. Cause it's bomb. Yes, I know I'm eating breakfast food with a zero calorie soda. Don't judge me, I don't care. I'm gonna continue eating. And I'm actually going to turn on Outer Banks because season two came out and I started it last night. I don't know why I do that. Start shows late at night because then I want to stay up all night and watch it. And that's what I did. And I woke up late today, so. <laughs> all right, guys. And the last thing that I'm eating for the night, where is it? Oh, it's up here. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are right, these? If you watched my last video, I showed you guys these in my little mini Trader Joe's haul. And they are vegan and gluten free cookies by the brand Partake. And they are free of all top eight allergens. They're the macros for three cookies. And yeah. Oh, shoot, it is loud. I'm going to be having not three of these. I'm going to have two of these. And I'll show you guys them. They're like cute little. They're like this big. <laughs> Literally. Like here. I'll put one in my hand so you guys can see. That is them. And it comes in like a cute little. It's kind of like a like Girl Scout cookie. Like how they pack the Girl Scout cookies. So yeah, I'm going to have two. And that'll be the last thing that I eat tonight besides my tea. If you are somebody that is looking for these, um, because they are free of all top eight allergies, which is crazy, um, I got them from Trader Joe's, like I said, but I'm pretty sure they also have them at Target and Walmart, and they have other flavors as well. All right, so we have my tea with this cute little cup that my mom got me. And this is the tea that I drink every single night to end off my night. Peppermint Delight Probiotic. It helps with all the digestion. And yeah, I get this from Whole Foods. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I did not end off the vlog last night, so I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's full day of eating. I hope it was helpful for you guys for any like new meal ideas. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have any other video requests or if you want me to keep doing the full day of eating videos um because you like them or you find them helpful or whatever because i will keep doing them but honestly like 
personally like my favorite videos to watch from other youtubers because i get food ideas so i would love to keep doing them for you guys if you like them so let me know but i just have the gym that's why i look like this but i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys all so so much and i will see you guys in my next one peace <laughs>